Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve another very very interesting question from quartic equations. Here we have one quartic known whose product of two of its roots equal to two. Find them. So let's get started by considering roots of quartic equation P, Q, R and S. Now I will write the product of roots only P, Q, R, S using Vita's method. As per formula it is E over A where E is constant A is leading coefficient. So I can write from our equation minus 8 over 1. So this value will be equal to minus 8. Now as per problem product of two of its roots equal to 2. So if I will write here PQ equal to 2. So I can calculate RS from here. Let's divide both the equation. So I will write PQRS divided by PQ will be equal to negative weight divided by 2. So PQ PQ will be over. We will get product of remaining two roots will be equal to negative 4. Now product of P and Q it is 2 given product of R and S it is minus 4. So we can think about this quartic expression in terms of product of two quadratics. If I will write here x power 4 plus 3x cube minus 2x square minus 12x minus 8 equal to 0. Now I can write x square plus mx plus 2 product of 2 roots. Then in second quadratic I will write x square plus nx and then product of remaining 2 roots which we calculated negative 4 equal to 0. Now we have to multiply these two brackets first and then we will compare coefficients. So if I will multiply I will write here x power 4 x square with nx I will write n times x cube x square with minus 4 minus 4 x square mx times x square so I can write here mx cube mx times nx I will write here m n x square mx times minus 4 so we will write minus 4 mx then we have to multiply by 2 2 times x square we will write here 2 x square 2 times nx we will write 2 nx and 2 times minus 4 will give us minus 8. Let's add. So we will get x power 4 then we will get m plus n times x cube then we will write here minus 4x square plus 2x square will give us minus 2x square. So I can write mn minus 2 in the bracket and then we will write x square. Here we will write 2n minus 4m times x. Then we will write minus 8 equal to 0. Now we are going to compare coefficients from both the equation. So coefficient of x cube is 3. Here this is m plus n. So we will write m plus n equal to 3. First equation. Then coefficient of x square is minus 2 here and here it is mn minus 2. So second equation we can write mn minus 2 equal to minus 2. And third equation we are going to write from the coefficient of x only which is minus 12 and here it is 2n minus 4m. So I can write our third equation 2n minus 4m equal to negative 12. 
so we have to solve this system for the values of m and n let me write equations here here it is now we will cancel minus 2 and minus 2 from second equation so from here we can write mn equal to 0 now from third equation i will divide both sides by 2 first so let us divide by 2 so i can write here n minus 2m this will be equal to minus 6 or i can multiply our equation by negative 1 we can write 2m minus n equal to 6 now we will consider our first equation here i will write m plus n equal to 3 now we will add these two equations so plus n minus n will be over we will get 3m addition will be 9 let's divide both sides by 3 we'll cancel 3 and 3 from here we'll get the value of m equal to 3 once m is 3 we can write or you we can use this equation so i can write 3 times n equal to 0 so n will be equal to 0 so we have m3 n0 let's put this value in the bi quadratic product i will write x square let me write plus mx then this was plus 2 then we will write x square plus nx here product was minus 4 equal to 0 let's plug in the value of m equal to 3 and n equal to 0 so i will get x square plus 3x plus 2 times x square minus 4 equal to 0 now here we can apply difference of two squares formula and this bracket we can factorize easily we can write x square plus x plus 2x this is equal to 3x plus 2 and here we can write x square minus 2 square equal to 0 now from first two terms we can take x common from here so x plus 1 in the bracket from last two we will take two common out we will get x plus 1 in the bracket and here i will write x plus 2 times x minus 2 using difference of two squares identity equal to 0 so i can take x plus 1 common here and get x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 equal to 0 or i can write x plus 1 times x plus 2 whole square times x minus 2 equal to 0 now we will use product zero rule and we will get our final answer x equal to negative 1 x equal to negative 2 negative 2 or negative 2 with multiplicity 2 and x equal to 2 so here we are having our four solutions i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye